Hey guys, today we're going to answer the question, what is healthy about the heart healthy whole grains? Now, the American Association of Cereal Chemists defined uh, these whole grains as any mixture of bran, endosperm, and germ in proportions one would expect to see in an intact grain. Okay, Here's a picture of an intact grain, which is a seed of grass. Okay, so. These are seeds that turn into grass, that turn into plants. That's what grains are. And there's three different parts. You have the bran, which is the outer part, which is the fiber, trace minerals, some B vitamins. Then you've got the germ inside, B vitamins, vitamin E, trace minerals, phytonutrients, healthy fats. And then you have the endosperm, which is basically all the carbohydrate, a little bit of B vitamins. Okay? So a whole grain is any mixture of bran endosperm, and germ in proportions one would expect to see in an intact grain. Okay, so they expanded the definition to include even grinding it. So we're not just talking about an intact whole grain that you would kind of soak and make some cereal out of. Uh, it's basically you can grind it as long as you put it back together. And according to the FDA, all you need is 51% of these three elements together in proportion to call it a whole grain. Okay, so it could actually include some refined grains. So what I want to differentiate is when you go to the grocery store, um, very few people are buying actual grains as a whole berry and soaking them and eating them like that. M great majority of people are buying them already ground down. And the problem is when you grind these whole grains, even try to put them back together, they're still ex exposed to oxygen. And oxygen is what destroys vitamin E, part of the B complex, a lot of the phytonutrients, a lot of the healthy fats. So the more this grain is exposed to air, the more it'll go rancid, the more it'll be exposed to mold and things like that. So they have to add chemicals to preserve it. So it's not gonna be that preserved. And not to mention all the processing when they puff the grain or they flake it to make cereals. And the other real big problem is that when you buy whole grains, you're not just buying whole grains. A lot of times they're adding tons of sugar, sweeteners, chemicals, on top of whole grains, and because it says heart healthy, you think, oh wow, this is really healthy, I can go ahead and eat it. And when we talk about refined grains, refined grains are basically you're removing the bran and the germ, okay? It's only the endosperm, which is all the carbohydrate. And of course, because there's not a lot of vitamins in this, they have to enrich it with synthetic B vitamins and a toxic um, metallic iron which is very toxic to your body. I, I did a video on that. I'm going to put a link down below if you haven't seen it. So unless you're consuming intact whole grains and you're letting them soak and you're cooking them correctly, um, from my viewpoint, it is not very healthy. And even intact whole grains, uh, from my viewpoint, is not good on a ketogenic diet. And whether something's made with whole grain flour or fine grain, it's still very high on the glycemic index, even higher than actual sugar. All right, thanks for watching and put your comments down below. Hey guys, a lot of you already have my book, some of you don't, but this new edition called the New Body Type Guide is an upgrade from my last edition called The Seven Principles of Fat Burning. It has 156 images, 378 pages, full glossary. I talk about keto, intermittent fasting, the body types in detail. I have a new stress chapter. I'm gonna show you exactly what to eat and a comprehensive FAQ. I put a link down below, check it out.